Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of January 13th. Okay, your theme for the week is the Six of Swords. Swords is the element of air in the realm of mind, thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and communication. Um, you can see here the woman in the front of the boat. There's a boatman behind her with a light. All the swords sticking up and down, kind of like stalactites and stalagmites. Um, swords is really about, you know, the, the mind and our what we believe and our attitudes. And so here what is important in this deep realm that looks like in the realm of the unconscious we've gone so deeply into the mind are the fears and the doubts that we carry with us all the time or that um, poke up during the course of our creative journey to make us doubt ourselves and so the theme for this week is to really keep being aware of where is it you want to go she's not looking at the swords she's looking at where she wants to go and she has a helper then who as long as she's clear about the direction and the goal continues to paddle and steer and guide the boat so that they can continue to move forward. So your theme for this week is to keep in mind the vision, your destination, your goal for your creative work and your creative career so that the fears and doubts that are there in your deep mind, in your unconscious, um, don't sabotage your journey. Your focus for the week is the Queen of Cups. Cups is the element of water in the realm of heart, emotions, dreams, intuition, and creativity. The Queen is the master, the mistress of the element. You can see her in the water with the, the beautiful fish swimming around her, this very fluid but be, and beautiful creature. Your focus for the week is how are you the Queen of Cups? How are you the mistress or master of the element of creativity? creativity that involves the heart and the ability to follow your intuition and your dreams and your creativity in the direction they want to go. How do you allow yourself to go submerge deeply into that process? Then your action this week, so we've had air, we've had water, and now we have fire. Wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. Three is the number of change of creativity, and you can see here this airship moving towards the figure on the shore. Um, so it's really about this week taking action. If you want creative opportunities, if you want to get your work out in the world, you have to meet opportunities halfway. You don't wait at home for it to come knocking on your door. So this week, what are the actions you need to take to get your creativity at least partway out into the world so that you meet those opportunities. And when you do that, then we have another Cups card in the gift position. And this is the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> you can see all the cups here with all the fruit, beautiful fruit, the abundance, the sense of abundance. And this card is often called the Get Your Wish card. So when you um, focus on your journey, when you go with the flow, go deeply into the heart of your creativity, and then take your creativity and meet the opportunities halfway, then you get that sense of creative abundance, creative re reward, and um, just this beautiful fruitfulness. So as we look at the story for the week, we start off with a theme which has to do with where's your mind at, um, focus really be aware of being clear about what your goal, your destination, your journey is so that when you go deeply into the mind, when your mind is engaged in your creative work, instead of these fears and doubts popping up and threatening your journey, you keep your eye on your on your destination and then you have the support and the ability to keep moving forward. Your focus is how am I the mistress of my creativity in the realm of heart, emotions, dreams, and intuition? How do I continue to go with the flow so that I can do that keep moving forward? Because to move forward also means meeting opportunity halfway, not waiting for it to show up at my door, but getting down to the shore and meeting it. And when I do those things, then I'm rewarded with this creative abundance with the, you know, the meeting of the desires for my creative work. 
and this is Paula Chafee's Garden Mail. I have Divinethemuse.com wishing you divine musings.